It's a bad place to feel as though people are moving along and you have to do all in your power to control and constrain them. It's one thing to physically do it, but it's another thing to psychologically do it and with your psyche to try your best to keep people positioned where you feel like you have power over them. And what has happened, many of us, when we find people in our fields of endeavor or in our fields of expertise, we like what they're doing once it's within the realms or reach of our own capability. But as soon as we see people taking steps and leaps into higher test and higher place of expansion outside of our reach, we tend to feel a little insecure. And what it does is start to create, if not envy, it starts to make us feel some type of way emotionally to make us try our best to control the person. And, and what happens there, which is very awe-striking, it's very awe-striking is that we want people to do well but we don't want them to do better than us some of you don't want to hear this but you have found yourself in position of places that you have tried your best without even knowing subconsciously even telepathically you have started to send mind waves you've, you've sent air waves you've tried to signal to that person and you have done your best without physically doing it that you would want that person to stay right within the realms of reach I'm here to tell you God God is doing a work, hallelujah, in the generation that God is raising up. And it doesn't matter who you are or who you used to be. God is doing something new and fresh in this generation. It might not look like how it used to look 10 or even 5 years ago. Because what's happening as technology is changing, God is still the same. God is timeless. God is forever doing the great. The, oh, God. God is always blowing our minds. And I'm here to tell you God is doing the same thing. Now when the enemy thinks he has God where he wants God and God's people, God is always forking out something else, something greater, something perfect for God's people. You need to throw off that cloak, hallelujah, that cloak that's trying to move and operate in your life to keep people in places so that you would have control. When God is trying to blow the top off the roof, God God is trying to push the walls out. God is trying to add much more to the field. Ah, and God is trying to multiply what that person have. Yeesh, I come against the spirit of jealousy. I, I come against the spirit of religiosity. I come against a traditional spirit ah, that pulls you into that place of being a Pharisee. Ah, who's now focusing on many words of focusing on vain repetition. Or focusing on what was done before. I'm here to tell you the spirit ah, of Nehushtan and the idol spirit is broken right now in the name of Jesus. God is sending new manna. God is speaking a new word to revelation ah, to God's people. This is the time. This is the hour. And God is doing something in a way that you, even you, don't understand. I don't care how you may feel that you're the one who started something. God has to use. God has to ask. God has to put people in a position ah, to get that task accomplished. Uh, you've done your part. You've watered. You've watered. You've planted. Uh, let God, God the Messiah, let God do the rest so that there can be increase.